ideally we want to harvest our peppers right red the good fire engine red is what we're looking for um, this field here is a good uh, easily a good probably a good five five weeks away from harvest hi there i'm danny Pereira. i'm general manager for rio farms in ventura county been uh, out doing this job for about 37 years now behind us here is a bell pepper crop typical or one of our typical summer crops and right now we are right in the midst of harvest. This field was laser weeded. Coming in here and putting a hand crew in here, uh, the way we have in the past, we'll, we'll spend, without a laser weeder, we'll spend upwards of $1,000 an acre weeding a crop. Uh, way too expensive. Our profit margins are, this is a processing crop, our profit margins are very minimal. So um, I feel that you know by using the laser weeder, we'll be able to get our pepper crop and make it more profitable. We, we run a day shift and a night shift. Uh, the, the laser weeder really light up the fields and they, it's, we're able to run it day and night. It's, uh, and they just as effective at night as it is during the day. It wasn't a situation where I could put year round operators that do all the cultivating and the planting and the uh, you know land prep and all that. We couldn't get one of those guys. So we pulled a couple kids out of a weeding crew and we're younger kids that were very into technology and uh, they ran with it. Uh, it was one of those things that, you know, I, I, I got there and was kind of coaching them for a few days and realizing that uh, all of a sudden I'm finding out they're communicating with Seattle and the, the, uh, the, the hub there where if there's any questions or any issues and they were real good at it and, and uh, was really pleased with their performance. It's a very user-friendly system. Anybody with a little bit of ambition wants to really get in there and learn, learn things, it's, it takes off with it really quick and we were really pleased with our performance. And we have intentions of putting it on our, on our celery crop. Um, the, the idea behind that, we do have post-emergent post herbicide for celery, but we have a, an issue in this area with a, a, a disease, soil-borne disease called race 4 fusarium, which is very, um, which becomes, it, it's, it's basically a celery wilt. When any stress on the plant causes the plant just to wilt and die, uh, herbicides are a, a definite, stress on the plants so our thought process was to run this laser weeder on the celery when it's young as soon as we transplant knock those larger weeds out to get to, to ensure that the plant develops a nice solid root system and gets really you know vigorous to where uh, to a point where we could come in later with an herbicide and and not cause any damage and if we could get those early weeds with a laser weeder it potentially will alleviate us needing to put a weeding crew in to take the early weeds out. It's kind of therapeutic uh, walking behind the thing and watching the watching your weeds uh, getting smoked there. I, I just any any anything we can do to alleviate our labor costs, we're going to do. We own one. Uh, we can I would think between our operations here in Ventura County and our operations up in Monterey County, I easily could use another two more. Easily, I, I think I, I envision that. Our peppers are uh, mostly processed, uh, or they, they're 100% processed, so we're paid on tonnage. Uh, we're not paid by the box, so it's, uh, you know, we really, uh, to meet the demands of our processor, we try to get a real good varieties that have a good fire engine red color. One thing that we look at and we really, really try to, to stress is just good, good, good wall thickness. Good wall thickness will give you the weight you need to, you know, obviously to increase your production and increase your returns, right? Shun kicks ass, get one.